Welcome physics people to yet another Juddy Productions video. In today's video we'll be looking at unit 2 motion, specifically on the topic of Newton's laws and we have a couple of sample questions to consider. You see on the left hand side one of our examples is regarding an inclined plane, whilst on the right hand side the other is a connected body example. Scenario 1. James is sliding down a slide inclined at the ground as shown below. There's a constant friction force of 100 newtons that acts on James and James has a mass of 80 kilograms. So this is all represented in our diagram. Task number one, sketch and label the forces acting on James. Most of us are aware of the fact that Earth is pulling on James. That generates a gravitational force, Fg. We also are aware that the slide itself pushes back against James, perpendicular to the surface of the slide. So that's what we call our normal reaction force. And finally, in the description, we're told that there's a frictional force of 100 newtons acting on James. Now, friction always opposes the direction of motion. And so that goes back up the plane. So there's our three forces. We have the force due to gravity, the normal reaction force, and the frictional force. Question two, what is the magnitude of the normal force acting on James? So the equation for the normal reaction force is Fn, the normal reaction force, is equal to mg cos theta. It's effectively the component of James's weight that's acting perpendicular to the slide surface. So there's our vector representation of the normal reaction force, and it's equal to 80 kilograms multiplied by 9.8, which of course is a gravitational field strength on Earth, and then multiplied by cos of 30 degrees, the angle of the inclination. Multiply these together and you end up with a normal reaction force of 678.96 newtons, or around this to a whole number, 679 newtons. Question three, what is the magnitude of the net force acting on James? So here's our equation, net force equals mg sine theta, take the force due to friction. Now when we're looking at the net force, we're looking at forces acting down the plane. So first of all, the net force is the direction in which James will accelerate on the slide, which is down the plane. The driving force down the plane is equal to mg sine theta, which of course is the component of James's weight force acting down the plane, and opposing that, is the frictional force, the force due to friction, F little f. So, as a statement, we can say the net force is equal to mg sine theta, take F of the friction. Subnet values, the mass of 80. Gravity, as we know, is 9.8 newtons per kilogram on planet Earth. We're multiplying it by the sine of the incline angle of 30 degrees, and we're subtracting the 100 for the frictional force. Placing all those values together, we end up with a net force of 392 take 100, which is 292 newtons down the plane. Scenario two, we're looking at a four kilogram box resting on a smooth horizontal table, as can be seen. It's attached to a two kilogram mass by a light string via a frictionless pulley. There's our two kilogram mass. Question number one, sketch the forces acting on each mass. So first of all, let's consider the four kilogram mass. There is of course a force due to gravity, all objects are attracted towards the earth, and we have the symbol Fg for the force due to gravity. Opposing that is the normal reaction force, Fn. These two forces are equal in magnitude, but opposite in direction. The two kilogram mass also has a force due to gravity attracting it to the earth, and we'll color that a green Fg to distinguish between it and that of the four kilogram mass. Two of the forces that aren't always easy to see are the forces due to tension. So on the top of this horizontal section of our string is a force due to tension, pulling the four kilogram mass to the right. And down the bottom here, we also have a force due to tension. Without it, the two kilogram mass would fall straight to the ground at an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second per second. So it's opposing that, pulling upwards. Question two, determine the acceleration of the four kilogram box. So let's examine the four kilogram mass only. As I mentioned earlier, the force due to gravity cancels out with a normal reaction force. The box undergoes a net force to the right, which is being generated by the tension in the string. So we can say that the tension force on the box is equal to its mass times acceleration. The mass of the box is four kilograms, so we can now state that Ft equals four A. That's our first equation we've derived looking at the acceleration of the four kilogram box. Let's now examine the second object, the two kilogram mass. We can see a net force acting downwards towards the ground. And that's due to the opposing forces, 
of the force due to gravity and the tension in the string. So the difference of those two forces produces the net force, which is equal, of course, to ma, Newton's second law. Fg, the gravitational force, can be expanded as mg. And of course, we see the mass here is 2 kilograms, so we sub that into our equation. And gravity is 9.8 newtons per kilogram, so we sub that also into our equation. 2 times 9.8 combines to give us 19.6. Take the force due to tension is equal to 2 times a. At this point, we'll recall from equation 1 that Ft is equal to 4a. Now, whilst that was determined for the 4 kilogram mass, the tension of the horizontal string is equal to the tension of the vertical string. For Ft, we can substitute in 4a. So we now have an expression, 19.6 take 4a equals 2a. We can group our like terms and move the a's to the right-hand side of the expression, which tells us that the acceleration of this system will be 3.3 meters per second per second. Finally, we want to calculate what the tension is in the string. Now the tension is operating between the two objects, so we can't analyze the entire system in one go. We need to either consider the four kilogram box to work out the tension, or the two kilogram mass to work out the tension. I'm gonna choose the four kilogram box. So let's examine it. We know the net force is equal to MA, and it's being generated by the tension. So we can say that the force of the tension is equal to the mass times acceleration of the four kilogram box. So the mass of the box is four, and we just determined the acceleration was 3.3 meters per second per second. Multiplying these two terms together, we find the force of the tension to be 13.2 newtons. You've been watching a Juddy Productions video. If you've enjoyed and indeed learned something from this video, then please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.